If you're looking for the best running shoes for men, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Nike Men's Free RN Flynet. Nike made this style for short runs and workouts. You can use them without socks because the upper portion of the shoes is made of stretchable yarn that can provide the feeling of wearing a sock. But, of course, you can still wear socks with them, and these shoes will still have your feet all the same. Free RN Flynet style provides a barefoot feeling while running. Nike has further improved the sole to protect against wear and tear while keeping the spring-like expansion and contraction in place. The top of these shoes easily folds into itself so that you can easily pack them and carry them anywhere you want. This auto-folding saves space, making it easy for the runners to fit them into their backpack or tote bag. Moving on to the next and number two with Nike Men's Downshifter 9. You can make use of the remarkable features offered by this pair of running shoes to sprint safely and comfortably. Comfort lasts throughout the run because of its unique design. The forefoot is where the blood accumulates and makes it hot, so it is optimally ventilated due to the open mesh on top of these shoes. Downshifter 9 is perfect for short, rigorous runs. It has a rubber sole that is very sturdy and long-lasting. In addition, the creative pattern on the base of the sole can provide excellent traction while running. The number 3 position is held by Nike Men's Air Zoom Pegasus 36. The Nike Pegasus series has always been half Nike Air. Just like the mythical Pegasus horse, it is a perfect match for those who despise all the bulk on their running shoes yet cannot compromise on comfort and performance. The slimmer tongue and hole upper minimizes the bulk on the shoes. This increases the responsiveness and makes the shoes better suited to experienced runners. Also, the perforated and thin upper fabric increases the airflow to the front half of the feet, ensuring your feet remain cool and dry throughout the run. Next at number 4, we have Nike Men's Air Monarch Air 4 Running Shoes. The Nike Air Monarch Roman 4 has classic looks, design, and materials. A broader look, leather material all over, and a more oversized. So may remind of the hallmark styles of the 90s, but the technology is the same as on the latest Nike sneakers. These shoes have a very soft inner lining of durable fabric all over so that your feet get no irritation even after running a marathon. Also, there's a pull tab above heels to assist you in putting the shoes on and off. The number 5 position is held by Nike Downshifter 10 Running Shoes. The Nike Downshifter 10 improves on all fronts on its predecessor, especially the cushioning around the heels. It still fulfills its promise of being lightweight and breathable by using open mesh in the upper around the forefoot. The waffle pattern under these shoes provides anti-skid protection. Downshifter 10 is the best for a short run around the block on warm days. The upper design is mainly aimed at providing maximum support by caging the midfoot. The number 6 position is dominated by Brooks Men's Ghost 12 Running Shoe. If you're looking for lightweight cushioning to carry you for miles upon miles, check out the Ghost by Brooks. These shoes are suitable for long distances on roads, treadmill running, and even cross-training days. Reviews say that this shoe is comfortable for people with high arches and supination issues. Your foot rolls outward when you step. Plus, it's light enough that many people say they can wear it on speed work days and long run days alike. Many people complain that the fit is small and narrow, so you may need to size up. Others say the durability could be better and that the nylon tends to break easily after only a couple of months. Moving on to the next at number 7 with the 6 men's Gel Keano 26 running shoes. If you're an overpronator, your foot rolls inward when you step. You may want to try a stability shoe like the Gel Keano 26. This shoe offers a firm midsole and arch support for flat feet. In fact, the manufacturer explains that the combination of materials in the midsole can help reduce the risk of bunions. Reviewers say that this shoe is suitable for a variety of runners and offers lightweight cushioning for comfort. Others note that they're durable and had been recommended by their podiatrist for use after surgery or when dealing with plantar fasciitis. A few longtime Keano fans say that this latest version may have less cushioning than previous ones. Other runners share that the fit has changed smaller, narrower. So you may need to order a size up from your usual. And a couple of people say they don't like the laces that come with the shoes. The number 8 position is held by New Balance Fresh Foam 1000 Adifton. 
New Balance offers two widths beyond standard with the Fresh Foam 1000A Difton, wide and extra wide. The foam insole has comfortable cushioning that gives you a neutral ride. The hyponet upper comes in a wide variety of colors and makes the shoe fit with a sock-like softness. One reviewer said these trainers are super comfortable even on his Yeti feet. Not all runners love this shoe, though. Several reviewers say they don't feel like their foot sits deep enough within the shoe, making it more uncomfortable than previous versions. A few others note that their toes rub on the inside, and even though the shoes are wide, the midsole is still a bit tight. Next at number 9, we have Mizuno Men's Wave Rider 23 Wavenet Running Shoe. Mizuno's Wave Rider 23 is a longtime favorite with people who underpronate and have high arches. This new version offers the company shock, absorbing cloud midsole, and a soft knit upper, which has a sock-like fit and moves with your foot. Reviewers say this is a great shoe for running all distances. Others share that the knit upper allows their feet to breathe well, which is especially helpful in longer runs and for keeping the shoes free from bad odors. Several reviewers suggest sizing down with this shoe. In particular, they mention that the toe box is wider in the Wave Rider 23 than in older versions. Another person mentions that if you're a longtime wearer of the Wave Rider shoes, this version doesn't feel as flexible as previous versions. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Six Men's Gel Venture 7. A bestseller with over 2,000 positive reviews, the Gel Venture by A6 offers runner support when and where they need it with its resilient EVA midsole. This shoe boasts a sturdy construction for durability in all sorts of conditions, both on roads and off. Its heel counter helps keep your foot moving in a natural line of motion for the most efficient stride. Reviewers like the Venture's overall fit and support, even for everyday activities beyond trail running. And a few people say it's a solid choice for runners in larger bodies or those with wide feet. The shoes come in an X-wide width. Reviewers say that this shoe runs on the small side, so you may want to size up. A few longtime wearers of this model share that version 70 isn't as durable as previous versions. That's all for today. We upload fitness product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.